So first of all, the average probability of failure on demand. That's the parameter that we tend to calculate in order to determine our achieved sale level. And all right, we're talking about an average. Why? We'll get to that in just a bit. So the probability of failing dangerous is defined as the probability that the SIF will not perform its intended function uh, when it's asked to, to do so. So you have a hazardous scenario in your plant, you need to go to the safe state, and for whatever reason, your safety function doesn't do that. That is uh, failing dangerous, and we are calculating the probability that we fail dangerous, and we use that in, uh, you know, to determine the achieved sill level. What we see when we look at the probability of failing dangerous is that it increases as a function of time. So the probability of failure when everything is brand new, maybe zero or close to zero, but after a year, it may be a lot higher. So which is the probability that we should look at when, when, it's, you know, when we want to determine what sill level do we, uh, we meet? Is it the lowest one? Is it the highest one? So in, in reality, what we're doing is we're looking at the average one. Average over the lifetime of, of a particular uh, function. So the P of the average is defined as the arithmetic uh, means of uh, over a specific time interval. And we can just simply look at the probability failure as a function of time. And, uh, and you can see here in, in our chart, you, know, you see P of these going up as a function of time. And that's the red line. And then uh, the, the black dotted line all the way at the top. I'm not sure if you can uh, if you can see that here the red uh, the black dotted line that is our average probability of failure in the month over the entire lifetime. Now this is a logarithmic scale. Obviously, if it would be a linear scale, it would be let's say a straight line, and then the average would be roughly half. But you know, from a from a probability of failure on the month perspective, we calculate this this parameter as a function of time. And we use uh, Markov models, and, and at the end of this section, we'll talk about what those Markov models look like. Um, but in order to explain some of these parameters, we've chosen to use a simplified equation. Uh, and a simplified equation uh, looks like this. And uh, you may say, well, that doesn't look that simple. Uh, trust me, it could be a lot more complex if we would do it more accurately. Uh, we're making several simplifications here. Uh, for example, we assume that the failure rate and the time interval, the, the, the product of the two is relatively small, so we don't need to use an exponent function uh, and just to, yeah, for starters, or do integrals over exponent functions, which is fun, but not really uh, very educational at this point. So we're going to look at how we can calculate the average probability of failure in the month, and we can, we're going to look at these different terms that you see here um, in, in the equation.